530, our top story this half hour. Florence has grown into a Category 4 hurricane. It's now taking aim at the southeastern United States. It's expected to make landfall by Friday, bringing with it devastating rain, wind, and flooding. CBS's Mola Lenghi has more from Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. Much of the eastern seaboard is now bracing for a mammoth storm. On Monday, Florence exploded into a Category 4 hurricane, and as it intensified, so did the efforts to prepare for it. We're in for a real episode here. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster has ordered an evacuation of his state's entire coastline. A million people from eight counties are expected to head inland, but with up to a foot of rain predicted, it may be difficult to escape the danger. We got the hurricane and the surge, which may be as high as 10 feet, maybe more, maybe less, we don't know, coming at us uh, from the ocean, and then after that we'll have water coming down, flooding us. In North Carolina, parts of the Outer Banks are also being evacuated. This storm is strong, and it's getting stronger. Governor Roy Cooper urged people to heed the warnings before it's too late. The best safety plan is preparation and common sense. We still have a couple of days to get ready. So let's use that time. The Navy is taking no chances. The entire fleet at the Norfolk Naval Base has been ordered out to sea out of the path of Hurricane Florence. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. Now in a tweet, President Trump said federal government agencies are closely monitoring the storm's approach and will be ready to assist when needed.